What's going on guys? So in this video, we're going to go over my first impressions of the Flames of Ambition update. So I'm going to make this short and sweet. So the first thing I want to talk about is damage. Damage is absolutely noxious to this patch. So a few reasons why we're taking so much damage is the light armor penalties now that, you know, increase your damage taken from physical attacks. Um, and then heavy armor's passive or penalty to take more damage from magical attacks. Also, the extra 1,000 weapon and spell damage we get from uh, being level 50. That was a big thing. Uh, and also, you know, a few things like the uh, penetration from two-handed weapon, two-handed maces, to be exact. The extra weapon damage from 2H swords. Uh, that was a very, very big change, you know, to give us so much damage. But I think the biggest thing that completely uh, ner nerfed the tank meta is going to be the CP. Uh, they have no damage mitigation at all from passives. Uh, you have to slot it or, you know, kind of invest into something else, you know, to give you damage mitigation. So, my honest thoughts on the critical resistance thing. This thing is absolutely terrible. Do not invest in this. This is so such a worthless champion point. Uh, I tried this running my normal builds, and there is not enough critical resistance or damage mitigation that you can get. So, this is absolutely garbage. Do not invest into this whatsoever. So, what you guys need to do this patch is to build into critical resistance and build for sustain. So, I know I just talked about critical resistance, about not slotting this, and don't. You don't need it. You have to get it from somewhere else. And obviously, for the sustain... Uh, you have to be able to sustain your dodge roll, especially for stamina builds. You have to be able to move. If you don't have enough stamina recovery, you will run out and you will die. Damage is so high this patch that if you can't maneuver and roll dodge, you're going to die in probably about 15, 20 seconds. So, especially if you get outnumbered, you know, three, four, five people on you, uh, they hit so hard. And even if they're running 40k health, uh, they still do a, quite a bit of damage, so... But I do have a few things I do want to test on stamina builds. I just have to get a few other pieces of gear. But uh, I'm going to spill the beans on the magic um, perspective. And I really think that this can transfer to stamina as well. This set is so universal. I think it's going to be a must. So we had to adapt and pivot our gear. So at, at launch, I was running Shackle Breaker and Spinners. I liked it. The damage was high. But the damage we were taking was just absolutely obnoxious. Absolutely obnoxious. So, on my character sheet, I have honestly too much critical resistance here. 3.6k. Now, we haven't ran 3.6k crit resistance since like 1.6. Um, so, yeah. This has been a long time coming. And I really think this is a little bit too much. I think a sweet spot would be around about 3200 crit resistance. Maybe right at 3k. That's what I'm going to try to get to. Um, the reason why I have this much is obviously I'm going to be running NPREG. This is going to be a, a must on all builds this patch. I really think that if you don't run Mpreg, uh, you're not going to be tanky. And the reason why we're running Mpreg. So, the critical resistance from the CP is not enough. Um, I have most of my gear that's in-pin. I think I have six in-pin. I definitely want to change some of this, though. I want to change this to reinforced. And also, if you guys know what I'm talking about, I'm not going to explain too much. But uh, light armor, they get more armor from Nernhoned than, than they do from reinforced. Uh, I think you get like 253 armor. Um, so since we have so much critical resistance, I'm going to drop that a little bit. And I'm going to change these to Nernhone to give me more overall resistances. Now I know that kind of sounds weird and, you know, kind of off meta. But I really think this, this is going to be good this patch. So I'm thinking about running like maybe one or two end pen. Reinforce on my chest. It reinforced on my legs because those are the heavy pieces. Uh, and then running like Nernhone here. And then running like well fitted uh, or, or sturdy or something like that to kind of broaden out my stats. So, that's, you know, kind of what I'm going to be trying. Obviously, i got to get a lot of crystals to do this, and that's really the problem. So, also another reason why we're running Impregnable is this right here. So, you will see we don't have this passive, obviously. What this allows us to do on my Magplar is we can run this Duelist Rebuff. Now, direct damage is the single most thing, the reason why you're taking so much damage. It's going to be from direct damage. This is going to be crystal frags on mag sorks. It's going to be surprise attack and, you know, end cap on stand blades. Uh, this is just why you're taking so much damage. So, since they nerfed overall damage mitigation from these CP passives, this is the only other way in the blue tree to really mitigate a lot of damage taken. Um, these over here, the dots could be good for CP, PvP, uh, in like, you know, if they're running Vatrin and stuff like that. But I really think for no proc PvP, the Duelist Rebuff is the most important one. This gives you so much damage mitigation. And if you don't run this, you really feel the damage that you're taking. So don't run the res Resilience. Run this run this uh, Duelist Rebuff. And the first thing I tested this on was my Mag Sork. And I felt enormously tanky. So tanky. 
uh, that like I legit felt more tankier than I did in medium armor, like on my stand blade or my stand or anything like that. So I'm definitely going to be running this with the impregnable. Also, what this allows us to do is since we can free up that spot for this one, we can, you know, buff our damage here with Biting Aura, and then we can use Fighting Finesse. I really feel like this is underrated, especially whenever people realize crit resistance is a must. You could probably drop this for maybe the Unchained, Untamed Aggression. But for right now, this is so powerful, especially for the critical healing. Um, and, you know, on my Magpar, I'm obviously running the uh, Race Against Time, so this gives me 10% more critical damage on my attacks. So this is definitely very, very powerful, uh, and I really think it's pretty underrated. So... That is kind of what's happened here. And for the red tree, um, Juggernaut. Juggernaut gives you 10% damage mitigation again. So if you pop like an, a movability potion, like I have here, you're taking 10% uh, less, less damage. So you can stack that with a dualist rebuff. And then we also have, I mean, look at our resistances. Outside of my room, I'm running four light and three heavy. Um, we have some insane swell resistance, obviously. Physical resistance is pretty decent. So inside my rune, we have 27k physical. Uh, and this just makes us so tanky. Um, and we also have, again, all that crit resistance. We have the Duelist Rebuff CP passive. We're taking 20% damage, damage mitigation from that. If we look at our um, advanced stat, so we're taking 43% uh, you know, magical damage and 31% physical. So up to our back bar on our defending. Um, we're taking a lot less damage, like that's like 5%. Um, so yeah, definitely I think defending this patch is going to be a must to mitigate some damage. Um, powered is definitely good, but I think defending is going to be the best. So like I explained earlier um, on my previous build video, kind of like an update. So a uh, sharpened maul of spinners just does so much damage. I definitely think you could run the, the lightning stuff if you'd like to. Or even maybe dual wield. Um, but I just like the maul right now. I like the penetration. Uh, I don't have enough room for elemental drain anyways, so... That's why I'm running this. I mean, there's really no point. Um, I just like the amount of penetration we have. I mean, we have 16k unbuffed. I really think it's po that's powerful. So what do I think the coming meta is going to be like for no proc PvP? Even probably proc PvP. I really think this could be very, very powerful. But again, a lot more people do run Malakath there. So Impregnable would kind of be worthless in that sense. Um, so I definitely think proc PvP is going to be kind of weird with that aspect. But so, for example... If you're a Stamina Knight Blade, uh, run Impreg and then run Spriggans. If you are a Stam DK, run Impreg and Shackle Breaker. If you are a Stamplar, run Impreg and Shackle Breaker. Uh, if you are like a Magic Necromancer, uh, you can run Impreg and like Crafty Alfique. You could run um, possibly even like for a Warden, run like um, Impreg with Ancient Grace and two pieces of Trainee. There's just several options with Impreg um, and it just makes you so tanky, man. It gives you so many options for damage mitigation from the champion point system. And that's really why we run it. Because we can get so much crit resistance. And then um, get so much damage mitigation from that. Uh, from the champion from the champion points. Um, So that's what I think the meta is going to be like for PvP. I think uh, you better buy your impact pieces now. Uh, or you're just going to have to farm it for BGs. I got my last piece of impreg um, here recently. Like today. I have all the pieces of impreg now. So I can just recraft it with crystals, and it just makes my life a lot easier, but I don't have crystals. So, also another thing I feel like it's going to be very, very powerful this patch. It's going to be protective, protective, protective. Uh, you definitely need to mitigate some of your damage, and this is going to help you with that. I even think for some stamina builds in 7 medium, I feel like this could be very, very powerful. Um, so let's talk about um, the champion points for, for stamina builds. So I know I tried the Unchained on stamina builds at the beginning. But I definitely think this is probably the best CP layout for damage mitigation for 1vxing. Um, you really don't need Unchained. If you're running 7 medium, your cost reduction of your stamina skills is so high anyways that you really don't need Unchained. So I definitely think that the Juggernaut is going to be better. Uh, I mean, you're in medium armor, so you don't take more damage from magical or physical attacks. You're basically neutral. Um, so you're going to get a lot more damage mitigation from you know basically everything. You're going to get the best of both worlds. Per se. Um, so I definitely think that for stamina. Well Unchained is good. It did get a, quite a bit of a nerf. I think back in the day it used to give like 80% cost reduction. I think it. I don't know what it was last patch. 
Um, but I definitely think this is, was a little bit of a, of a nerf, obviously. And, I mean, it's only 55% cost reduction, and it's every single time you get stunned. So, is it really that worth it? I don't think so. Especially if you build for sustain anyways, this isn't really, you're not really going to notice the difference um, in this, in my opinion. So, Cyrodiil has kind of been, you know, here and hit or miss pretty pretty much. It's been a lot of OG players and, you know, people with five stars, people that played in the old days pretty much. Um, also, skill delay is actually really bad, uh, especially for channeled abilities like Dizzy Swing. It feels so clunky. Um, it's very, very annoying, and honestly, I wish they would fix it. Even in Black Reach, it, it has skill delay. So, I don't know what's going on with that. It's like a different type of skill delay than we're used to. Uh, every single time there's new skill delay, like, every single time there's a new patch, there's a new type of skill delay that isn't technically, like, what it used to be with skills not firing. It's just skills, like, that look like they're going off and then, like, don't go off and then do go off. It's just really clunky and I really, really wish they would fix it. Um, performance overall has felt decent. But the, again, the animations and stuff looking weird uh, and just not going off or whatever uh, has really hindered the game. And it's basically just taking place of the lag. That's my honest opinions and, you know, kind of help you guys out um, with your theory crafting and making your builds this patch. Because you're definitely going to have to build a tank here. There's just no doubt in my mind. Um, and we do do a lot of damage, so it, it's really not a big deal. You have to run, like, one um, damage reduction set with, you know, one damage set, and then run recovery, um, like with your Mundestone and your enchants. So that's it for me, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.